Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What's going on people? Back with a bang. Here I am to bring you guys another video today. So in this video I'm going to be talking about how the market's fared this week, our economy, some things to look out for, some crazy bits of news which have gone on, some earnings plays we've traded this week, some trades overall that we'll be looking at and what I plan to do going forward. I'll also end with some tips and tricks just in regards to how to navigate this market. Now before we start, this is the fifth time I'm recording this video. And actually, I'm also voice recording it because this is kind of ridiculous. I'm not sure what's going on with my software today, but it's the fifth time I'm recording this. So please do me a favor and drop a thumbs up. I will definitely appreciate it. It will show that it's worth my time. Also, make sure you comment and subscribe if you're around here. So now let's get into this. Now, obviously, I've looked at this a few times now because I've recorded it five times. But just to kind of begin, begin with, I do want to talk about how the market is right now because a lot of people are getting smoked by the market. The reason being, when the market sells off, People think it has to recover right away or so quickly. It does not. Look at how we fared today. All the indexes down, the S&P 500, the Dow, the Nasdaq, the Russell, all down. You can see that they're tanking. And what do people think? Oh, well, they've tanked. Maybe it's time to get some calls. No, it's not time to get some calls. Wait until you see a clear uptrend. So let me just pick up a chart for you guys so we can kind of see this on a better scale. So to begin with, the S&P 500. We're just on the 5.2K right now. But look at where we were three, three months ago. Up there almost at 6K, and then we start selling off. Every time we sold off, we pushed up and then sold off again. Sold off even more. And then we had this big sell off the last couple of weeks. So the reason I'm saying that is because a lot of people don't realize, as I mentioned, these reversals that they're expecting are not guaranteed. Couple gaps down, yeah, we pushed up and then we got rejected. I wanna pull up QQQ for you. Because the Nasdaq index, this tells a lot of the story. Because from a technical point of view, we are, on the technology side, we are a very critical point. Look at this. We are at a point where we could push up and then continue down sell, uh, selling off. Or we could push up and get a confirmation of reversal and break above the moving averages and start seeing bullish signs. But I do think there's more downside potential for this. We could pull on back to who knows. But I think 418, 413, those are my couple price targets, early price targets for this sell-off. Our economy is a little bit strange right now, as you've kind of seen in the past few days. VIX was at 64. We've seen the you know the indexes selling off, as I mentioned. We saw the US Treasury, 10-year US Treasury, at, I think almost 4%. I want to touch on the VIX. 64 points. The VIX at 64 points. I've not seen that since COVID. Why is the, why was the VIX at 66? <laughs> Why was the VIX at 64? <laughs> Look, when the VIX is at 64, everyone gets panicky and scared. The VIX is supposed to be here, here. Look, 27.85, not 64. 27 is still high, but yeah, 64 is ridiculous. When the VIX was at 64 on Monday, retail sold $1 billion worth of shares. Unfortunately, what did Warren Buffett say? Fear and greed index. Be greedy when others are fearful, be fearful when others are greedy. When everyone was fearful on Monday, institutions were buying up shares, like $14 billion worth. Retail was selling. That's why you're retail. That's why we are retail. You know, the fear and greed in this. Okay, extreme fear at 20. Last time I report, uh, recorded, we were at 19. But that's my point. Retail was selling when the VIX is at 64. Tip for you, not financial advice. When the VIX is at 64, go find your favorite stock, your favorite company, and go get a couple shares. Not financial advice. Anyway, so the markets right now, nothing interesting in regards to news on this platform right now. But in regards to what we traded this week, that was pretty interesting. I'm going to start with Palantir, ticker symbol PLTR. So Palantir, all right, slightly down on the day, but actually it was a good trade. <laughs> I'll show you an intraday on a smaller time frame, 15 minute chart. So we were at 23.80 and then we pushed up to highs of 28. And then we continued pushing up. I mentioned in the last two videos, we're looking at Palantir earnings, we're expecting great earnings. We kind of had a double top on the 15 minute chart, but yeah, Palantir earnings were great. They smashed earnings. Alex Karp knows what he's doing as CEO. They've in implemented AI. They've invested a lot in AI and it has paid off. It paid off because it gave us, well, almost 168% returns on Palantir. And I think if you had managed this a little bit better, I mean, we could have been over the 200%, but we got in a little bit late, but either way, it still paid off. You got to remember that with some of these stocks, Hey, they're going to fly after earnings. When we look at earnings, we do research on earnings. Some of these stocks are going to fly. Just like Shopify, ticker symbol SHOP, 
Another one I mentioned in my last two videos. It was, it was in my hot stocks to watch for August video. This was one of them at $50. Now it's at $63, up 18%. So, in fact, we dropped below 50 briefly. And I said it was a great time to scoop up shares, great time to get in some call options. So I took the $55 calls and we hit $68. Not bad at all. Just under 400% returns. Shopify has great potential long term. It's not as you know, popping and booming as it was during the pandemic, but it has great potential. Now today, it did start off the day well, and then it eventually sold off a little bit. Speaking of selling off, let's look at Tesla. Tesla, I traded the puts on. Shout out Oscar throwing Tesla puts in the chat. Tesla died $10 today. It pushed up at the beginning of the day and then just sold off. We were at 200 and some, some change, and then we just pushed up and sold off every time. Now I could have executed better. I sold around here. Just under 198. Unfortunately, it dropped another seven dollars, and it's dropped another two dollars after hours. But look, every time I pushed up, sold off. Pushed up, sold off. Rejected by the moving averages and sold off. Sold off. Lots of selling pressure on Tesla today, which is what we like to see because there's money to be made in the puts. There's money to be made in these puts. So just make sure you kind of keep that on your radar as well, because Tesla on a daily chart looks even more bearish. Yeah, we had a nice little run, nice bullish couple of weeks, but since then, sold off got smacked. Tesla's back to where it was beginning of July. Lo and behold, more opportunity for long-term investors, but also more term or more time for you to get some money on the puts. Either way, I don't care. Make some money on it. That's what I want for you. I don't think Tesla's done bleeding. Moving average crossing to the downside below the 200 MA, pushing down to my level of support. Now for Celsius, because I mentioned this one in my watch list, I said it was going to bleed. Double top, nasty double top on the daily. Keep getting downgraded by the analysts. The price downgrades are not going to help a stock like this. We thought when it hit $70, it was done. Nah, we just hit below 40. We got more blood on Celsius and there's more money to be made. And we're looking at more Celsius puts, puts, puts. Look how it's just continuing selling off. This could get ugly. It's already ugly. This could get disgustingly ugly. Just like it did for fuel cell. Fuel cell is now 45 cents. Fuel cell that used to be like 30 bucks is now 45 cents, down 8% today. Beautiful downtrending chart, beautiful put chart, just like Fubo. Not as nice, but Fubo is also nicely bleeding. Look at that, down 7% today. My next price target for Fubo is around this sorry, $1.11 level. And then, yeah, I'm expecting it to continue selling off, but we'll see. First, let's get down to $1.11. That's another 7 8% drop, but it's disgusting right now. AMD is also disgusting right now, back under 130 and Nvidia is under $100. I did not expect that a couple days ago because we were at 92 a couple days ago, but I thought once people started buying it up, ah, okay, it's not going to fall back down this quickly. Lo and behold, it has, and it still has more room to drop. So if it gets down to that $90 price point, time for me to go shopping. And if it falls below that, same thing. We've got room to run up to 116 soon enough and higher. Now for QQQ. Because this has an effect on NVIDIA, or NVIDIA has an effect on this. AMD as well, a couple others. Now we were at 4.49 this morning, sold off all the way to 4.34. And this is why I say you get a day or two hour expiry. Because if we look at a five minute chart, look at the knife at the end of the day. Just get yourself an expiry for a couple, couple days out. It's going to benefit you so much. It's much better than, you know, trying to trade a zero DT and missing out on the last hour move, last five, 10 minutes move. It depends what it could be. The last hour is a bit tricky because they pushed it up. So people had sold and then they dumped it. They knifed it. Disgusting work on QQQ. But hey, that's how we make money in this market. So shout out for those of you who made some money in the market today. The rest of you, we're going to be back at it tomorrow, make some more money. Also, the first thing in the description, that's Royal Trading Academy. That's where I talk about stocks, where I do the breakdowns, got my watch list, do live trading, do call outs, show the charts, all that kind of stuff and more. There's a reason that I'm being cautious and more surgical in my approach right now, just the way the market is reacting to certain news, the gap just gaps down overnight. And we talk about all this in the Discord, so go and check out Discord for more of that. Second link in the description, Stock Options Starter Pack. That's 10 videos for you guys. You have access to those videos for life. It's a one-time payment. Talk about options trading, the Greeks, the trading strategies, ins and outs of options, all different kind of things and a lot more. So go check it out. And of course, follow me on all social media at The Wealth Prince. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, it's the fifth time recording this, so at least I've voice recorded it now. So if it doesn't work, well, you get my voice but no face. Either way, drop a thumbs up, show some support. I do appreciate it. Also make sure to comment, 
and subscribe if you're new around here, hit the beautiful red button and also share these videos. But that's it from me, go check out the last video if you've not seen it already, be here for the next video as well. I got money making, you got money making, see you guys next time for another video. Peace.